What's up everybody? In this video, we are going to read multiple inputs from the Arduino into Node-RED. We'll read this information into Node-RED as JSON formatted data. For this video, we will use the circuit and code we created in the previous video. Upload the code from the multiple inputs dash serial output circuit to your Arduino. Ensure you have Node-RED running and open it in a browser. You should see our previous flow we created. We have changed the data that is coming in from the Arduino, so the gauges we created in an earlier video will not work. Since we have JSON data coming from the Arduino, we want to ensure our Node-RED flow interprets the data as JSON. Use the parser option in the nodes. Select the JSON node and drag it onto the line in between the serial in and debug node. Click Deploy and ensure the debug node is selected. You will see the data for the value of the potentiometer and button state being read by node red. If you look at the data, there are two variables, pot value and button state. They each have a numerical value. To visualize the data on our dashboard, we need to adjust our flow to read the JSON data. For the gauges, we only want the value of the potentiometer. We want to get this value from the parse JSON data. Disconnect the connection from the serial in and the range function node. Drag a connection from the JSON parser to the range function. Since node red passes message.payload values between nodes, we only want to send the value of the potentiometer to the gauges. We can do this using a change function and the set rule. Drag a change function in between the JSON and range nodes and double click the change function. Give this function the name of get potentiometer value. We want to change the msg.payload to the value of the pot value. You will notice in the debug window that our msg.payload is an object. In JavaScript, we can access properties of an object by adding a period and the name of the property. So we can set msg.payload to msg.payload.pot value. Another way to get the path of the pot value is to highlight the property in our debug window and click the first icon. This icon copies the path to the property. Click Done. Drag a debug node onto the workspace so we can see the msg.payload coming out of the getPotentiometerValue function. We have multiple debug nodes on our flow. You can turn on and off debug nodes by clicking the green end of the node. Let's turn off the debug from the JSON node so we can just see one value. Click Deploy and check the debug window. You will see that the msg.payload being sent is just the value of the potentiometer. Go back to your dashboard and you will see the gauges are now working. Awesome! Now let's read the button. We will use the same methodology for the button. Drag a change function onto the workspace and connect it to the JSON node. Double click the change function. Give this function a name of get button state. Change the set rule so msg.payload to msg.payload.button state. Click done. Drag a debug node onto the workspace so we can see the msg.payload coming out of the get button state function. Turn off all other debug nodes. Click deploy and check the debug window and you will see the value of the button. Note that when the button is pressed, the value is 0, and when the button is released, the value is 1. We'll need these values for the dashboard. Drag a switch from the dashboard nodes onto the workspace. Connect the switch to the getButtonState function. Double click on the switch node. Remember that the dashboard will organize content based on the group it is part of. Let's make a new group. Click on the down arrow next to the home potentiometer and select Add New Dashboard Group. Click the pencil button to edit. Give the group the name button. Keep the tab set to home as we want to show the information on the same dashboard. Click add and click done. Click deploy and test. If you look at the dashboard, you will see a new group for the button. However, when you press the button, the switch doesn't update visually. Why is this happening? Go back to your flow and double click the switch node. Have a look at the properties where it says, when clicked, send. This is set to true and false. 
the value we are passing to the node is a 1 or a 0. It is also a number. We can see that from our debug window. For the on payload, click the down arrow and change the data type to number. Type 0 in the input box. Remember, this is because we get a 0 value when we press the button. Change the off payload to a number and input 1. Click Done. Click Deploy and Test. Now our dashboard is functioning properly. We have two groups, one for the potentiometer and one for the button. When we turn the dial, the gauges update, and when we press the button, the switch changes. At the end of this video, you should be able to send multiple inputs from the Arduino to Node-RED by passing a JSON string.